Welcome back to another episode of Amateur Pool. I'm your host, Josh Powell. Today we've got another match. This is for the king seat. This is from the Amateur Pool Tournament, 625 Fargo and below. Uh, if you were above that, you weren't allowed to play. Um, this is against Dave McEwen and Benny Alvarado. Dave is a 610 Fargo. Benny is a 625 Fargo. Dave won the lag and just broke off. It looks like it was dry break. <clears throat> now, I'm going to tell you guys, I cut some of the um, fodder out of this one. This match was over an hour and a half long. Uh, so I cut some of the in-between shots out. Uh, just not on every rack, just some of them, the ones that took long. Uh, just to keep it shorter so it's more fun to watch, guys. So hate me if you want to. Love me if you want to. Either way, bro, I had to do it. Had to be done. You know what I'm saying? That's Benny at the table right there. He just shot the 13 ball into the side. He's lining up to cut that 10 over into the corner. And he overcut it. He overcut it a bit. So that should bring Dave up to the table. We've seen Dave before in a match already. He shot well. Dave is solids and putting that five ball in the side pocket, lining up for the three. He should just stop it here or come off the rail for either the one or the six. Yeah, it came off the rail with a little bit of right spin. Now he's lined up for the six, but he could also shoot the seven too, which is what he's going to do. He wants to open those up as quickly as possible. You don't want to leave those jammed together like that in case something funny happens when you make it or when you shoot the combo. Get it out of the way early. Now he'll come back for that six ball on the side. He should shape for the one next. He drew it, so he may, he may opt to shoot either the, the seven or the two next. Probably the seven. a good shot he could have stunned up a little bit and shot the one next but either way this works great this works great he went back and forth two rails uh, now he's on the two but he's shooting over top of the 15 ball and instead he's shooting the one that's smart good shot a good plan anyway i guess drew it back into the 15 that didn't have to turn out so well but it did you know drew it right back into the 15 ended up with a nice shot on the two which he made and lined up for the eight in the side. This should be our first rack, ladies and gentlemen. We're racing to five here. So the first person to win five games wins this match and is sitting in the king seat. In case you're unfamiliar with the tournament, the king seat is the winner of the winner side bracket. So they are waiting to play in the finals for whoever comes through the loser side bracket and plays them. So our, our next match that I will post after this one will be the finals. Um, I didn't record the semifinals on the loser side. Um, that was a good match. I kind of wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. Uh, so guys, we're winding down on this tournament here. We have the king seat match here, and next up is the finals match. So I appreciate everybody for, for the support on this tournament. It's a lot of fun for those of you who have been watching from start to finish. We're almost done, guys. I've got a few league matches to post after this. Um, and I play league again tomorrow, so I'll have... I got matches for days, boys, days. I'm going to try to get them out as quickly as I can. Did you see? I rewind the tape on that one. Just as I looked down, I saw the contact there. It looked like there was a skid on that ball. Uh, the two balls kind of hit and kind of hopped like this. It was kind of weird. Rewind the tape, though. I may be wrong. Like I said, I looked at it last second. All right, Benny's at the table here, figuring out what he's going to do. He's going to shoot that one ball. What's he going to shoot next? Probably the four, I would imagine. I think he was drawing it back for the four. Uh, amped it up, though, and, and bobbled the pocket and overdrew it. So Dave's going to play a safety. He sees a good opportunity because his nine ball's in a tough spot, his uh, 12 ball's in a tough spot. So he saw a good opportunity uh, to stick Benny behind his own balls which he did, and Benny made a hit, but broke his balls out a little bit. Excuse me. Dave says, I'm not ready to run this rack out yet. We've got a couple tough spots, so I'm going to play another safety. And Benny's going to fire. Benny fired at it. That's what Dave was waiting for. He was waiting for Benny to fire at it. Now, had Benny made it, he would have had a good opportunity to get out, but he missed it, so he opened the balls up for Dave. Dave starts with a smooth stroke into that uh, nine ball, putting it into the corner pocket. And he's looking to shoot the 15 next, probably with straight draw. He doesn't really want to hit the 10 here. 
He did a good job. Didn't hit the 10. He avoided the 10, which was crucial because he could have pushed it over behind the 2 or the 12, whatever ball that is down there. I think it's the 12 because he, he just shot the 10 and bobbled the pocket. That was surprising, guys. That was surprising. Looking at how smooth his stroke's been so far this set, it's, it's surprising you missed that. Penny says, I'll take advantage, buddy. I'm going to make that four ball. He's got a thin cut on this five, but one he should be able to handle. As he did. As he did. Good chap. All right. He dropped on that two ball beautifully. Yeah, I was going to say he was looking at the six, but it makes sense to shoot the two first and get it out of the way. Ooh, he went up for the one. <clears throat> that worked out nice, but I would have shot the six first. Um then came up table. I either would have shot the six and then shaped the seven or shot the six and came up for the one. I wouldn't have shot the one first, but that's personal preference, guys. You know, it could work either way. It could work either way. So Dave ended up with tough shape, or uh, Benny ended up with tough shapes on the six and missed the shot. Now Dave's at the table looking at probably another safety here. He's going to want to nick the side like that. And put him behind. He wanted to get him behind the 1013. I know uh, that's really how that safety laid right there. You wanted to get him behind the 1013, but the angle was off just a little bit. So instead, he left uh, Benny a good look at the six, but not an easy shot at the six. Let's see what he does. Benny says, "I can play safety too, buddy." Just rolls it into the into the rail, into the short rail, guys. Speaking of short rail, don't forget to click the link in the description. Get you a short rail hoodie or a short rail shirt, man. So my short rail t-shirts, just so you guys know, they're six ounce, but they're uh, which means they're a heavy shirt. It's a heavy shirt, but they're also 100% ring spun cotton, which means they're very soft. So it's a thick, heavy shirt, but it's made with very soft cotton. It's a fan, fan, fantastic, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, you know, you know, it's a fantastic shirt, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I picked it out myself. And the hoodies, the hoodies are nine ounce, thick, thick hoodies. So they're nice and warm, comfortable, and they're going to last. So guys, don't be afraid to get you one. You know, link is in the description, boys and girls. Link is in the description. Anyway. Sorry about the advertisement. Back to the match. You know what I'm saying? Back to the match. Dave's up the table. He's shooting the 10 ball. Dave looks, looks primed to get out here. He shot the 10 ball and chose to draw it back with a little spin just to get himself a closer shot on that uh, 12 ball. That way he's a little closer. He didn't have to shoot it from so far back. Now the 8's prob. If it goes past the 7, he'll put it in the side. If not, he'll shoot it up here in this corner. It's hard to tell where he shaped it, right? I mean, he could shoot either shot. I think he's calling it in the corner, the corner closest to the camera, guys. The one right up there. I think if I'm pointing the right way, maybe up there. I don't know. I don't know. I can never remember which way is which when I'm on camera. It's weird. It's weird. It's like a mirror kind of, but not. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, no. Dave bobbled the pocket on the eight ball. Left Benny a little three ball out action and Benny's going to take advantage of this guys 625 Fargo he's not going to miss well he shouldn't let me say shouldn't because he can and we all do but he shouldn't miss this um oh he's got left C8 ball sitting in the pocket and that should be it for game number two looking at a one-to-one one-to-one -one matchup boys and girls this is a good match here yeah, I had, I had to cut some of the middle out, guys, in between shots. I didn't cut any of the shots out, just the waiting in between shots. Because, it, like I said, it was over an hour and a half. All right, Benny broke, lost the cue ball, man, flung it off the table, killed the guy next door. After he said, I'm sorry, and told his wife, he gave the ball to Dave, and Dave's up at the table with ball in hand. Not behind the line, boys and girls, in this tournament. It was ball in hand anywhere. So that's why Dave started with the shot way down table. Um, shaped that 13 nicely. Drifted out. Oh, he doesn't want to get stuck on that five. He either wanted the nine or the 10, but he went in between. Got stuck on the five, you know. Got stuck on the five. I don't see a rail here, guys. He hit the rail before contact. Nothing hit a rail after contact. So Benny takes ball in hand and starting with the one ball because it's his toughest ball to get to. 
So always want to start with your toughest ball when you got ball on hand, if you plan to run out. If you don't plan to run out, it might change things. Benny went for the combo next and misjudged it a little bit. Missed the shot. Dave, does Dave have a shot here? It's so hard to tell. I don't think he does. He did take control of that pocket nicely and got rid of two, not one, but two ducks that Benny had sitting in the pockets. So that, that shot worked out pretty well for Dave, for sure. I'm not sure what Benny was trying to do there. Only he knows, you know, him and God. It's the only two people that know. Dave took a shot at the combo, it looked like, and it was nice. He made it. Now he's set up nice for that nine ball, nice and easy, so he can stay there for the 15. Now I think he shapes his 15 to the bottom right corner pocket. He could also put draw and come up to the three ball and shape it down here, but I think it's easier to, to shape it to the other corner. Yeah. Yep. But only problem now is he's got to contend with that three ball when he shapes the eight. He should be able to put enough draw on it to avoid hitting the three. He's just going to draw over to that side rail and with a little spin down towards the eight is how I would play it. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. Easy peasy, man. Lemon squeezy. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know, bro. Bruh. <laughs> All right, Dave should be able to make this a ball. I don't think he's going to bobble it again, and he did. Now the score is dos y uno. That means two and one, you know, fun in the sun. Ever wish you could play like Efren Reyes? If you buy our new line of short rail merchandise, I can guarantee you'll play as good as Efren Reyes. I'm sorry, I was just informed I can't say that. I can guarantee you will not play as good as Efren Reyes. You'll still suck, but you'll look good doing it. Get you some. Dave's up to break. He says, I know how to keep the cue ball on the table, Benny. He made a couple balls on the break. Good looking break. He's got a couple little clutters, but nothing horrible. I think um, he could run out here. I mean, it doesn't have to be a run out because it's not the easiest table in the world. Even though it's fairly wide open, there's some clutters that make it difficult. But he missed his shot on the five. So none of that matters, guys. None of that matters. Benny's going to come up to the table and see what he can do. Let's see what Benny can do. He's jacking up over the two. He's got to shoot the 11. And it was never easy, guys. That shot was difficult considering he had to jack his stick way up to shoot over top of the 11. Anytime you got to shoot over a ball like that, the shot becomes uh, extremely difficult, you know. Probably 100 times harder. I, that's exaggerating. I'm exaggerating little Timmy. It's not 100 times harder, but it's definitely quite a bit harder than it is without shooting over. Ooh, this, where's this going? He hit that a bit hard and splash into the drink. Into the drink. So Benny's going to start with a combo. He, I understand why he did it. He wanted to get his 13 out of there, but um, I don't know. I feel like there might have been a better way. And, you know, it's funny. I can't even think of one off the top of my head, but I feel like there should have been a better way there. But I wasn't at the table, you know, so I don't know. I mean, this wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't shoot. And who am I to tell Benny what to do? Benny's a 625 Fargo, you know what I'm saying? It's probably the best way to play it. Probably the best way to play it. All right. So they're going to play Piggly Winks for a minute and shoot the ball back and forth. And Dave's coming up the table. Dave says, am I done playing Piggly Winks? Nope. I'm going to play a little more Piggly Winks, Benny. Piggly Winkity Dink, but he hit that one a little hard and left Benny a shot. So what's Benny going to do? And he's going to put it in the hole. Now, Benny's got a little tough act in Tanactin with that 915 ball. He's either got to come into him and break him out or get dead behind him, which is difficult. Um, I like coming into him off this shot, actually. I might be able to do a straight top. Yeah, just like that. It was nice. Well done, Benny. Bip up Benny in the jet. Yeah, I'm not going to do it again. I did it in the last video. I'm not going to do it again, man. Stop antagonizing me, little Timmy agonizing me all right benny's well underway here oh he doesn't want to be over top of this seven and he is 
He just fell over top of the seven, making his nine ball. Remember what I said before, a billion times harder. At least a billion times. Maybe less. I don't know. So, yeah, there it is. Proof's in the pudding, man. That shot becomes so much harder when you got to shoot over top of a ball. Had he not shot over that seven, he would have he made that ball. No problemo. All right, Dave's got a couple easy shots to shoot at. Yeah, yeah, he made the seven first. That's he could have went for that, or I think the two goes in past the one. Um, so he could have made either one of those. He even could have shot the five, but that wasn't easy. That was a hard shot. So now he's got to think about that's what he's looking at right now. He's thinking about if I make the one, am I gonna move the two? Because he doesn't want to move the two up against the rail right there at the point. That's like the worst place in the world. I personally would play this rail first. Yeah, that's what he did too. And he did move the two a little bit, but I don't think he moved it enough to put it in trouble. <clears throat> We're going to find out because he's going to shoot the five right now. And if he makes it, he'll be on the two. Oh, I wonder if he tried to draw to the bottom side of the two and just pop it off the rail. Um, maybe the ball was in trouble. That's why he drew into it like that. I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't know, bro. Only you know. And only Dave knows. No, I'm just kidding. You probably don't know either. I mean, you're looking at the same angle I'm looking at. All right. Benny finished off those couple balls. Now we got a tie game. Dosey dose, two and two. Benny says, I'm keeping the ball on the table this time. That eight ball was making a track towards the side pocket. Said, I think I can like the little train, but just couldn't make it. All right. So the, the break must have been dry because Dave's up at the table. Uh, Dave shooting at this nine ball up in the corner pocket. It's a good shot. Good way to start. And honestly, the stripes look pretty good here. We're not going to talk about that, guys. Dave, we're not going to we're not going to discuss that, bro. We're going to pretend like it never happened. You know, we're going to move on from there. And we're going to keep going with the match. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Benny's going to shoot this third. T Benny, we're not going to talk about that one either. I'm just going to move past them both, guys. We're going to pretend like they didn't exist, you know? We're going to pretend like they didn't exist. All right. Dave came back to the table, said, I can make a ball. Put, put the, <laughs> the ball in the corner pocket, and now he's shooting at this combo. He's shooting the two into the six. I like it. It looks like it's pretty well lined up, so he should be able to pot it in there, and he did. And he did, what did he come away with? He's got a thin cut on the seven. If the five goes past the 11 into the side, that's the shot uh, that I like best. But if it, it may not go, I mean, it looks pretty tight. Yeah, he's gonna thin cut the seven, which is gonna nick the two into the three, spread those open a little bit more, and who knows what he's gonna come away with after this. Did a good job on the shot and came away with a nice look at the three. He's got to think about that five. If it doesn't go in the side past the 11, it becomes a tough shot. He's got to get perfect shapes on it to go up in this corner. Oh, he's got it. This is the shape he needs. Oh, but the 14 is going to block the four. Yes, it does. The 14 blocks the four down into that corner. So Dave's got to make this five. What I, what I kind of like here, and um, it's not the easiest shot in the world, but I think Dave can handle it, is putting draw and coming around behind the four to shoot the four up in the same pocket. Then he doesn't have to worry about the 14. Yeah, that's the shot right there. He had a little favorable rub, nice little rub on the four. Uh, had he not had that rub, he would have had a real thin cut here. It's looking good, though, man. That was a nice shot. Good stroke. Nice, smooth, slow shot to hold shapes for the two. Now he's got to do is make this two. He can either draw one rail straight over. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> that's really about all he can do. There is no either there. One rail straight over. Oh, he's a little jacked up over the 10, a little hindered by the 10 ball. He's got enough space, though, and I think he's a little off to the side. Should be able to just take his time. Stay the main thing on this shot is you got to stay still. If you move around on this shot, you just don't make it. 
He did a good job. Oh, but he bobbled it, but he bobbled it. Oh, the drama, the drama continues. Oh, the drama. I just can't take it, you know? <laughs> oh, man, this is a good match. I enjoy watching these kind of matches, guys. You know, great, two good shooters. Uh, they make some great uh, runs. They make some great racks, and then they both miss a couple. You know, it's that's true amateur fashion. This is a, this is a fun match to watch, though. So. Can Benny finish these balls out? No. He's got pretty wide open table. Nothing in the way. You know, nothing in the way. He's just got to think about how he's going to shape here because it can get tricky if he's not careful. That was that was perfect. Not too much better there. Except he's on the rail. You know, he doesn't necessarily want to be on the rail with this shot for sure. Might even want to play it rail first. No, nope. he just took his medicine. He's going to take the harder shot on the 10. Um... Did what he had to do there, guys. Did what he had to do. You know, do what you do, do well, boy. Made a good shot. That shot's not easy, guys. That's why I say took his medicine. He left himself a tough shot on that ball. And this is a thing cut here, too, man. It's still, he's fighting. He's fighting for every, every out he's getting right now, man. I know it's not coming easy to him, so he's not, like, in, in perfect stroke. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It was a cliffhanger, boys and girls. It was a cliffhanger. Wiped its feet on the way in and stumbled on the doorstep, you know. But Benny got out. So now Benny's up. Tres y dos. You know, three to two. That's it. Three and two. I thought you knew. But you didn't. So I told you. You know, it's just the way it goes. I don't know. We're just talking, guys. We're just talking. We're just talking. Give me a little non-sponsored drink action here, guys. Cheers, you know. All right. Benny with the break. Did he make anything here? He must have because I don't see Dave running up to the table. I don't see Dave running up to the table. Hmm, I thought I trimmed this. This is exactly the fodder I trimmed out most of the, most of the match. You know, like I said, this match was an hour and a half, and I think I got it down to like forty minutes, under forty minutes, thirty-five, forty minutes, something like that. Didn't miss any of the shots. You guys, let me know if you kind of like the way I did that or not. It took a while to edit like that, um, so I'm not going to do it on every video unless you guys like it. You know, some videos too are already short enough. I don't have to do that. Um, but those ones that are like an hour plus, it's just too long. You know, it's just too long. I think I can trim those down uh, as long as you guys don't mind it watching it that way. I think I can trim those down and not lose anything on the match. Ooh, what just happened there? Rewind the tape. Oh, okay. He hit it with a stick. He's telling him, hey, I pushed this 14 with my stick. And he was showing him where it came from so Dave could put it back. I mean, really, it's, it's up to Dave, you know put it back where he thought it came from or not. I mean, it's not APA. He doesn't have to put it back. He can say, nah, I like where you hit it. I'm going to leave it there. You know, the rules call for that. You can do that, but it's not very good sportsmanship. You know, if you saw it move or if your opponent says, hey, it came from this area, move it back, bro. You know, it's supposed to be a gentleman's game. And so many people are not gentlemen when they play it. You know, it's just the way it is, man. Just the way it is. It was a good stroke. He's back. Dave's back with his good stroke. I imagine he's going to shoot the four here, but he could, I mean, he could also shoot the seven if he wanted, but the four is the one I like best. It just... With a little draw, I may even draw into the one just to stop there, but you got to be careful not to push the one into the 15. Okay, he's stunned over for the five. That worked out perfect. Man, that worked out real nice for him. He can shoot the one first, too, even if he wants. I like shooting the five and then the one because the one leads you to the three. Okay, he went with the, the one, uh, one first, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that because he can, he can still shape the seven pretty easily here. 
I like shaping the three first, but I don't know. I mean, it could get funny doing it that way. So Dave's probably right in the way he's playing this. Yeah, because now he's not going to end up with a weird angle real close to the eight ball. Um, if he shot the seven last and he wasn't dead straight on it, he could get a weird angle uh, with his shape on the eight. So I like the way he did it better than the way I saw it, you know, because I would have came up and shot the three first and then, and then left the seven for my key ball, which that can get funny, man. That can get funny. It's probably why I don't get out as much, um, get out in the rack as much. So Dave should be out here. This one's looking good. Dave's about to tie it up. Thracey, Thrace. As long as he don't miss this, this, this can be missed. Not today, though. Not today, you know. Not today. All right. Dave with the break. We're looking at three to three. It's a race to two, boys and girls. Ooh, that break did not end up with the cue ball in a good spot. And lucky for Dave, he didn't make anything, so Benny's at the table. Benny tried, I believe he tried to play the 11 in the side off of the 14 uh, as a carom shot, but he opened it up a little bit for Dave. Now Dave has a good look here. Has a good look. He's going to take stripes. Got the 11 ball. Came over a bit far. I don't know what he's going to shoot from here. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Is he going to combo the 13-10? That's a tough shot. He sure is, man, and he did it. Oh, I thought he did it. I thought he did it, but he didn't. It was close. That was a good try. That's a hard shot. Benny says, I'll take this four ball. Start with that nice, easy four ball and get my arm going. Follow up with the one ball. Is he going to come around for the seven or is he going to shoot this? He came around. Yeah. I didn't know if he was going to come around or if he was just going to hit it slow and, and stop there for the six. He's got the five now also. He should. It's worth taking a look at at least. And I'm sure he did. I cut out, remember, I cut out a lot of the in-between, so he probably did take a look at it. Is he going to make it with the 10? Oh, did you see that? Rewind the tape on that one, man. The five ball was fired in there and uh, just locked up with the 10 and stuck. That's crazy how that happened. All right, Dave can bank this 13 right now. So, which is what I would do, or he can play it safe and just knock the 13 into the five. Oh, he wanted that five to fall, though. I know he did not want to leave the five there. I would call a ref for that shot because it was so close. Could have been a bad hit. It didn't look like a bad hit from here on camera, um, but I would have I would have asked the, the handsome tournament director to come watch that one. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Because it could have been. It could have been a foul very easily. Like I said, from the camera angle, it didn't look like a foul. It probably wasn't. Oh, Benny kind of stood up on that shot in his stroke. He lifted his head uh, as he was stroking the ball, which I think caused a little movement that may have something to do with why he missed that. Okay, Dave tried to sneak that ball in past the 15. There wasn't much room for it to go. It was a good attempt, good attempt. Now, Benny's back at the table. I think Benny's. I think the three ball will go into the side pocket past the 14. We're about to find out. He's shooting it. Yeah, oh, he played it off the 14, which is fine, fine, fine. But I would have shot that um, probably last because he, he could have shaped the eight so easy off it. I would have started with the two, then the six. Oh, no. See, then he had to move the cue ball a bunch to get from the two to the six. He was straight on the two before. He could have just stopped it and got the six and then just pulled it back slightly, and he would have had that shot on the three ball, which led to the eight. So just a little bit difference in pattern play. You know, I saw it a different way than he did as well. All right, Dave played the combo, the 14 into the 13, left the 14 sitting in front of the pocket, which is always a good thing. Now he's got that shot next. Coming on up for the 15 into the side pocket and hit good speed. How did he hit it, boys and girls? Good speed. Is he going to come around two rails or just draw? He just drew a little bit safer that way. You don't have to move the cue ball. He's got a little bit of a cut here, but if, as long as his speed's right, he'll go two rails, wrap the corner, go two rails out for the, oh, he played one rail with draw. 
So I would have played maybe a little top with two rails, but, you know, preference. Preference on how you want to play that shot. He liked the draw shot, and that draw shot worked out nice for him. That's it. He's up to on the hill, four to three. Man, we're going back and forth, forth and back, you know. This is a good match. Oh, is it going to scratch? Yeah, he lost the cue ball down table. Down table, lost the cue ball. Benny's up at the table. Remember, ball in hand anywhere, not in the kitchen. Benny's going to start with this straight. As it were, old man. As it were. Good chat. Old man. I wasn't really – after I said that, I was like, man, that's kind of a jerk thing. It looks like I'm calling Benny an old man. Uh, I meant to say, like, old chat, you know, and it just came out wrong. Benny, I wasn't talking about you, bro. I promise. I promise, bro. Cross my heart, you know. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I'm just joshing. That's what I do. My name's Josh for a reason, you know. Josh for a reason. All right. Dave made his ball and drew back into the other ball. Oh, what's going on here? I wonder if he called safety. I think he might have called safety there. Yeah, he had to have called safety. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because you can call safety and make a ball, and your opponent has to shoot. So that's the only thing that makes sense there is he called safety. That's why he wasn't still at the table. There's <laughs> my customary yawn, guys. Every time. Every time I do a video, I got to yawn. All right. Dave says, I'm going to get you behind that two ball this time. Benny's got a good kick here, though. He could make the – I was going to say he could try to actually make that nine, you know, if he wanted. It was in the pocket. But his 10 ball is in a curious location, man. Um, Dave's 7-6 is bad, too, but he'll probably go for it here. Yeah, he need a little more right spin. A little more right-hand spin would have came right up into those balls and opened them up nicely for him. Oh, he's got the 7-2 combo? Nope. Playing safety. Oh, he put the six right back in a weird spot. I don't know if the six goes past it. Can you guys see it? Can you see it as a six go past the ten? I can't see. I can't see. You guys actually have the advantage watching these matches because on YouTube, if you're on your phone, you can pinch it and make it bigger and you can see it better. I can't do that when I'm watching it. So I watch it back on my editing software as I commentate, you know. I can't make it bigger. Well, I mean, I can during edit, but not while I'm commentating. I can't just blow it up and look at it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Stop giving me a hard time. You know, stop giving me a hard time, guys. She's so sick of it. Sick of you guys always messing with me. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Meanwhile, Benny says, I'm not going out like no punk to quote, uh, to quote the um, Cypress Hill, <laughs> I ain't going out like no punk bitch. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't want to sing it because it sounded dumb. And then not singing it sounded even more dumb. So I'm sorry. We're just going to forget I even mentioned that. But if you know the song, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments if you know the song, guys. All right, Benny jumbled up, jammed up that nine ball, bobbled it up in the pocket, left Dave a pretty good look here. He's got a combo to make, and if he makes this combo, he'll hit the seven, open it up, and there's a real good chance he's going to get out here, guys. He's got a thin cut on the seven, um, but all he's got to do is make it, and the cue ball will go back and forth, and he'll end up with a shot on the six unless his speed is real off. He'll end up with a good shot on the six. Oh, he did good on that one. Left himself the perfect angle to come from the six up for the eight in the side pocket. And this should be our match, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no way he misses this. No way, guys. No way. I bet you a million. Oh, yeah, look. Benny just conceded it. So, Dave, great match. Dave sitting on the hill. So, whoever wins the loser side bracket will play Dave in the finals, guys play Dave in the finals. So I will have the finals match up for you guys after this one. Um, be about a day. 
about a day or so and i'll have it up there guys if you want short rail the link is in the description guys you already know i'm not gonna say anymore guys support my channel do all that like subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace